Okay, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to take files from the Adobe Lessons and get them, like the files you download from those lessons, get them onto your computer, and then how to turn around and, um, you know, open the files in Photoshop correctly. Also, while I'm at it, I will show you two different ways of doing this. One, if you're on a computer that's like not a Chromebook, <laughs> if you're on a non-Chromebook, and then two, I'll show you how to do it if you're on a Chromebook, because it's two different ways. Okay, so first, I'll show you how to do it not on a Chromebook. Um, so, if we go to Google Classroom, and then Multimedia One, Classwork, so we'll go down to Lesson 4A. You open this up. Okay. Now, when I get to Lesson 4A, uh, it's important for me to, you know, get these files. Because in order to do these lessons, right, when I push to play this, when you're working on in, order to do that, in order to do that lesson, I need to get that file. So I click on Get Files. And then it downloads the file over here in the downloads folder. Now when it downloads the file, the file is like a zipped folder, okay? So we want to right click on it and go extract all, which will unzip the folder. Because whenever you download these, they're in a zip folder and zip folders don't aren't good. With some of the lessons, a zip folder will make it not work right. So we're gonna go extract all, extract. Okay, now you see there's another ver a new version of the folder here. Sometimes this will open automatically, sometimes it won't. I don't know why. But um, you double click this, and this is the non-zip folder one. And you grab the files you need. It'll usually have a Mac OS X thing. This one you use if you're on a Mac. If you're on a Mac, take this folder. If you're not on a Mac, take everything else. So I'm going to take these and you're going to move them to wherever you're saving your stuff. So I'm going to go to my media drive right here and see, I well, actually do this. You can just take them and right click and go copy. Then I can go to my media drive and go to the folder with my name and go to my Photoshop lessons, right? And make a lesson, a folder for this lesson. So I'll go lesson. 4A, it's kind of nice to have everything organized that way. And then I can go here and go paste. And then my two files are in Photoshop, or in, um, are in that folder. Now when I want to open those in Photoshop, I got to go like this. First I got to open Photoshop. So there's Adobe, so I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop. Now what I'm going to do here when I get Photoshop open, is I'm going to go open. Open. There we go. And then when I click on open, and then I go over here to the side right here, and I'm going to find the place I saved at. So I did it here, and I did it in Photoshop Lessons, Lesson 4A. I select, I drag to select both of these and click open. And then it opens them up in Adobe Photoshop and I can click between them up here. So that is how you do it if you're using your own computer. Now if you're using your remote desktop, it's a different creature. So if I'm using remote desktop, first I go to remotedesktop.google.com, okay? And then I switch to room 123 Next, I do the password with CHS room 123. I pick my computer I'm working on. And I wait for it to open. The pin is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, if I use, I mean, this, this is what I'm doing if I'm using a Chromebook, right? I go in this way, using your remote desktop on a Chromebook. I log in here. Your username will be your student number. 
and your password would be either student or students or whatever you set it as, if you set it as something else. Now you can see they have the remote desktop. Look at this. See how, like, this is my actual computer. Let's say it's a Chromebook. And this is the computer at the school that I'm connecting to, right? So what I, what's important is that I go to Chrome on the remote desktop in the computer at the school. And then once I get there, I go to classroom.google.com from here. Why can the site not, oh, I have an extra. Get rid of the extra, okay. And then I got to sign into this using my school email. I almost put the wrong password. So many passwords for different things these days. There you go. I don't remember that. So then I go into here, and then once I get here, I go to multi, I do the same thing I showed you. I go to multimedia one, I go to classwork, I go to lesson four A, and then I view the assignment. I'm gonna go here, right? And then I'm gonna click get the files. And then now, see, now I've downloaded the files onto the school computer. That's really important. It's important to download the files onto the school computer, not onto the Chromebook. Then you right click it and go extract all. Um, if you're having trouble right clicking on a Chromebook, what you can do is if you hold down the Alt key, the ALT key and click, sometimes that makes it right click. Um, it depends on how your Chromebook set up. Some Chromebooks have two buttons and you click the right side button. Um, it depends on how your Chromebook set up, but yeah. But all Chromebooks can right click. Okay, now once I get this here, I open it up, select these two files, right click them, go copy, then I go to this PC, then I go to Media Drive, then I find, then if there's, I need one, it's my name. So I go, new, I can, if you don't have one, it's your name, make one. So there's my name. So I open up that. I make a, I'm going to make a folder called Lesson 4A. And I right click in here and I go paste. See? And then I have them here. Now I got to open up Photoshop. So I click here, click on Adobe Photoshop. Okay, and then once Photoshop opens, then you can click on open. Always click on on your computer. And then from here, I go this PC, media drive, here, here, I select these two and I open them. And there they go. The other way you can open these um, is you can go file and then go down to open. And that will open, that's another way you can open it. So you can go file, open. Okay, so you, I showed you how to do it on a Chromebook and I've showed you how to do it on your own computer. I hope that between the two of these, that all made sense and, you, and you're able to follow along. If you're really stuck, visit me during my office hours. If my office hour times don't work for you, write me an email and ask to arrange another time and all will be well.